Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. What I've got in my hands are two IKEA light bulbs. And uh, in case you didn't notice, this is a color one and this is a dimmable um, fixed color. So 2700 uh, Kelvins and 1000 lumens. Now the only difference are the markings, so it might be a good idea to actually mark yours so you would know which one is which without uh, double guessing yourself. Now, uh, before we jump into showcase and tutorial, if you have any problems, especially with the colors, uh, with pairing or controlling, try the following. Uh, I've had to reset my Zigbee um, Raspberry Pi a couple of times and the same with Bolt before I was actually successfully um, able to send the controls over. So uh, to properly reset the light bulb, what you have to do is just power it on then power cycle it six times, so off, on, off, on, off, on, quite quickly, six times until it flashes, then wait a couple of seconds, power it off again, and then on. And that's where you'll be able to link it. So that's, if uh, you have any problems with it, just try that and you'll be able to uh, hopefully get the control over this. So without any further ado, let's dive into a small showcase. I have a dashboard set up with color picker and slider controls for brightness and then I'll show you how it's done in Node Red. In here, guys, I have a light bulb from IKEA. This is the color version of it. And so I'm gonna use this for demonstration because uh, you, I can demonstrate the color picker and the slider for controls of the brightness, uh, which I can't do both with the other type of the bulb. So it works in exactly the same way, so don't worry. Now, in here I have a dashboard, so you will be able to see me controlling this in real life, synchronized with this video, so you can see how responsive actually it gets. So, because some of the colors are going to be extremely overexposed, uh, it's daylight as well, so don't, do not take the colors, color values uh, as you can see them on the screen. I can assure you the values are really nice and the color reproduction is decent. I don't think it's as good as the light, but it's decent enough for this to be very usable. So let's start with uh, decreasing the brightness so I wouldn't overexpose the frame. So right now it's 223, let's set it to like 60 or 40 even. So as you, can, as you could see, that was in an instant. So let's play with some colors now. I can pick a blue. It's a really nice blue. Like I said, you can't see how nice this blue is on the screen itself because of the uh, video camera. And there's a bit of a pink and then let's go to red. And then the yellow, you can see it's very responsive. It's very quick. So as soon as I set the color, it's literally just uh, changing nearly instantly let's go back to white and increase the brightness again so excellent so how does it work in node red let's jump into it welcome to node red section now i will assume that you know how to add new devices to your zigbee to mqtt if you don't know uh, in the corner you should see somewhere in here um, the link to the video showing you how to do so now, I'll also assume that you already named your IKEA light bulb. Now, to receive the status updates, you have to use this topic, and just as default Zigbee to MQTT topic, you can change that if you want in the settings of Zigbee. I'll left it default, and the name of your bulb. Now, that's going to be parsed as a JSON in my version of the um, MQTT. Uh, in your version, you might need to use the JSON node, and in here, you'll see how it's this how this is presented. So you get your state, you get your color information, you get the brightness, which are the more, most important values. Now, you'll notice I have a cell va save values function node, and I do that because in order to change the brightness correctly on my color bulb, I need to resubmit the color information. So each time the color value changes, I want to store this in a flow variable so the color information is stored in message payload color and I store it in IKEA bulb C1 color. Now to request that information from the light bulb, what you have to do is just to send an empty state payload uh, to the following topic. So the topic is zipkey to MQTT, IKEA bulb, and that's the name, and then get. Now we know how to obtain the information now, this is how you control it. To control it, you have to change the topic to Zigbee to MQTT, name of the device, and then set. You don't have to submit all the information, a fractal information will do, so I can only submit state with on or off. 
or I can go full on and submit all the information I want to pass to the bulb so I can pass the state, brightness, color, temperature or color in hex. Previously you'll notice that the color information responding um, or coming out from the light bulb is in X and Y values. Now the good news is you can actually uh, submit information as a hex value or RGB. Just use the correct format. You'll see more of that information in the description of uh, this video in the linked article. So now that we know how to pass the controls to our light bulb, let's set up the dashboard. As you can see, I've got a slider and a color picker in here. So I've picked a, a slider, which corresponds with my brightness. Uh, in the slider, I have a range from 1 to 254, and that is sent on the release. So as soon as the value is set, it's being sent. Now, previously I've mentioned I need that color information to be retried before I will pass this as my payload. In the payload, you'll see that I have brightness, which corresponds to the value currently set by slider, and the color information that has been stored via flow variable. Now, similarly, uh, I'm using color picker. The color picker has been set to hex and it will pass the value as string. That string has to be transformed a little bit, so I have to um, format my payload and add the hashtag in front of the string that I'm receiving. As you can see, this is very simple and should only take you a couple of moments to set up. So guys, I hope that wasn't too quick and it wasn't too difficult. But if you require any additional information or go over all of this uh, that we've talked uh, in this video, there is a link in the description of this video for you to read. There are also files for you to download if you can't be bothered uh, creating them yourself. Now, I don't have a posting schedule, so if you follow me on social media or subscribe to my channel, you'll get eventually a notification about the new content. So uh, try doing that, uh, I appreciate it a lot. As for now guys, enjoy your IKEA bulbs and I'll see you in the next video. Take care! Bye!